mould down the side here that you can't really see. And it's going see. all the way up the wall? All the way up, yeah. Shelby's flat is a health hazard. Mould and damp on practically every wall and surface. So you were breathing in all of this mould? Yeah, and I've never been as poorly since I moved in there. The rot spread through all her furniture, carpets and clothes, destroying everything. Do rabbits make up? But she's more worried about the effect it has wow. had on her and her one-year-old daughter's health. My little girl, she didn't stay with me for like four days because she was really poorly with it. I ended up in hospital on steroids, antibiotics and a steroid inhaler because of how bad the mould had affected my chest. I it? thought it was going to be, yeah, this one. I thought it was going to be a good fresh start, but no, it's just, if anything, it's just been hell. Shelby's home is managed by Rochdale Borough-wide Housing, RBH, who told Sky News, we are sorry that Miss Atherton has experienced these issues with her home and we reiterate our apology to her. We are working hard to carry out the repairs needed as quickly as possible. Our number one priority is to safeguard the health and well-being of our customers. The same housing association managed the home where Awab Ishaq lived. The two-year-old died after suffering from a respiratory condition caused by prolonged exposure to mould. The government has proposed new legal requirements that could see landlords taken to court if they fail to investigate tenant concerns within a fortnight. They'll be forced to start fixing within a week and make emergency repairs within a day. In response, the Housing Association said this was a tragic case that resulted from failings at RBH and we are very clear it should never have happened. We remain committed to our promise to learn from what went wrong and put things right. We fully support the implementation of a WAB's law. Shelby and Layla Ray will have to stay in this hotel until their home is fit to live in. She can only hope that her ordeal will then finally come to an end. Ashish Joshi, Sky News in Rochdale.